Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. On behalf of the Y Cabinet, the Concert Choir, the fourth and fifth grade choir, the orchestra and the brass ensemble, I'm delighted to welcome all of you who are joining us virtually tonight for this 37th annual service of lessons and carols. This is actually Darlington's oldest truly one school event. The challenges of 2020 have caused us to approach many of our traditions in unique ways this year, and Lessons and Carols is no exception to that. Tonight's service is being live streamed as it usually is each year, but beyond that, we have made some changes in order to be able to safely share together in this important Darlington Christmas tradition. First, we have no congregation with us here in the chapel tonight. And second, the service will be presented as a combination of pre-recorded performances, live performances, and live readings. Tonight, we celebrate the very genesis of our Christian faith, the birth of Jesus Christ. We invite all of you who are Christians in the Darlington family to join with us in this celebration. And we invite those of you from other faiths to see tonight's service as an opportunity for you to learn more about our Christian faith. This Lessons and Carol service has become a wonderful tradition at Darlington. The service originated in 1878 in the English cathedral city of Truro. In 1918, King's College of Cambridge University adopted the service, and the following year it began the tradition of opening with the hymn, Once in Royal David City, with a boy soloist singing the first verse, as we have done here tonight. In 1918, the BBC began broadcasting the King's College service worldwide, so it has become well known around the globe. It has been used by many Christian churches of many denominations, by colleges, universities, and schools ever since, such as Davidson College, Presbyterian, Emory University, Methodist, Sewanee the University of the South, Episcopal, and Berry College, a non-denominational non college, just to name a few. The service is built around nine biblical lessons, beginning with the creation in Genesis and rising to the incarnation according to St. John. Between the readings, a series of services, carols and anthems is presented. Mr. Bell will begin the service with a bidding prayer, followed by the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. Beloved in Christ, at this Christmas tide, let it be our delight to hear again the message of the angels and in heart and mind to go unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, and the babe lying in a manger. Therefore, let us read in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace on earth, and goodwill among all God's people. For unity and fellowship within the church he came to build, and especially in this, our campus community. And because this would make him glad, let us remember in his name the poor and helpless, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely, and the unloved, the aged, and the little children. All those who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light, that multitude which no one can number, 
whose hope was made in the word made flesh, and with whom in the Lord Jesus we are one forevermore. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to God in the words which Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. the seed of woman shall bruise the serpent's head. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I heard the sound of thee in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me the fruit of the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all cattle, and above all wild animals. 
Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all of the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. The word of the Lord. to faithful Abraham that in his seed shall the nations of the earth be blessed. And the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this, and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will indeed bless you. And I will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore. And your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies, and by your descendants shall all the nations of the earth bless themselves, because you have obeyed my voice. The word of the Lord.
Christ's birth and kingdom are foretold by Isaiah. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The word of the Lord. And there shall come forth a rod of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord, and shall make him a quick of understanding in the fear of the Lord. With righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. The wolf shall also dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them, and the cow and the bear shall feed. Their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox, and the suckling child shall play on the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall, shall put his hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of knowledge of the Lord, 
as the waters cover the sea. The word of the Lord. salutes the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to, to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of God and will, and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will be great. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the, to the angel, how shall this be, since I have no husband? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The word of the Lord. Thank uh-huh. 
St. Luke tells the birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph went, from, went up from Galilee out of his city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. And because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she would be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christmas time, consider well and bear in mind the tiny child to us is born in Bethlehem. This keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. 
and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to the God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. The word of the Lord. Blessed morn, see the great mediator down from the regions of glory descend. Shepherds go worship the babe in the manger. Lo, for his guard the bright angels attend. Brightest and best of the stars of the morning, dawn on our darkness and land us by name. Star in the east, the horizon adorning, guide where our Odors of Edom, the eyes of the mountains, of the mountains, the earth, of the ocean, the pearls of gold from the mud. Brightest and best of the stars of the morning, dawn on our darkness, and let us by name. Star in the east, the horizon adorning, guide where our infant's redeemer is laid. Brightest and best. wise men are led by the star to Jesus. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet. And you, O Bethlehem, in the name of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who will govern my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the, king, the, summoned the wise men secretly and ascertained from them what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go, and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word, that I too may come and worship him. When they had heard the king, they went their way. And lo, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother. 
and they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. The word of the Lord. Congregation shall stand for the ninth lesson. St. John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, 
and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came for testimony, to bear witness to the light, that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness to the light, the true light that enlightens every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. Thanks be to God. The word of the Lord. You may be seated. Let us pray. O God, who makest us glad with the yearly remembrance of the birth of thy only Son, Jesus Christ, grant that as we joyfully receive him for our Redeemer, so we may with sure confidence behold him when he shall come to be our judge, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. 
And now, may God, who by his incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly, grant you the fullness of inward peace and goodwill, and make you partakers of the divine nature and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Thank you. 